Hashimoto's thyroiditis or chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis is an autoimmune disease in which the thyroid gland is attacked by a variety of cell and antibody-mediated immune processes. It was the first disease to be recognized as an autoimmune disease. It was first described by the Japanese specialist Hikaru Hashimoto in Germany in 1912. Signs and Symptoms Hashimoto's thyroiditis very often results in hyperthyroidism with bouts of hyperthyroidism. Symptoms of Hashimoto's thyroiditis include weight gain, depression, mania, sensitivity to heat and cold, paresthesia, chronic fatigue, panic, bradycardia, tachycardia, congestive heart failure, high cholesterol, reactive hypoglycemia, constipation, migraines, muscle weakness, joint stiffness, menorrhagia, myxtomatous psychosis, cramps, memory loss, vision problems, infertility and hair loss. The thyroid gland may become firm, large, and lobulated in Hashimoto's thyroiditis, but changes in the thyroid can also be non-palpable. Enlargement of the thyroid is due to lymphocytic infiltration and fibrosis rather than tissue hypertrophy. Physiologically, Antibodies against thyroid peroxidase and or thyroglobulin cause gradual destruction of follicles in the thyroid gland. Accordingly, the disease can be detected clinically by looking for these antibodies in the blood. It is also characterized by invasion of the thyroid tissue by leukocytes, mainly T lymphocytes. A rare but serious complication is thyroid lymphoma, generally the B cell type, non Hodgkin lymphoma. Risk factors a family history of thyroid disorders is common, with the HLA-DR5 gene most strongly implicated conferring a relative risk of 3 in the UK. In addition Hashimoto's thyroiditis may be associated with CTLA-4 gene polymorphisms that result in reduced functioning of the gene's products, which are associated with negative regulation of T lymphocyte activity. Dowingulatory gene polymorphisms affecting CTLA-4 are also associated with autoimmune pathology seen in development of type I diabetes. The strong genetic component underscoring this theory is borne out in studies on monozygotic twins, with a concordance of 38 to 55 percent, with an even higher concordance of circulating thyroid antibodies not in relation to clinical presentation. Neither result was seen to a similar degree in diazygotic twins, offering strong favor for high genetic etiology. Preventable environmental factors, including high iodine intake, selenium deficiency, as well as infectious diseases and certain drugs, have been implicated in the development of autoimmune thyroid disease in genetically predisposed individuals. The genes implicated vary in different ethnic groups and the incidence is increased in patients with chromosomal disorders, including Turner, Downs, and Klernfelter syndromes usually associated with autoantibodies against thyroglobulin and thyroperoxidase. Progressive depletion of these cells as the cytotoxic immune response develops leads to higher degrees of primary hyperthyroidism, presenting with a poverty of T3 per ton 4 levels and compensatory elevations of TSH. Recent research suggests a potential role for HHV6 in the development or triggering of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Pathophysiology There are multiple suggested mechanisms by which the pathology of Hashimoto's thyroiditis develops. Various autoantibodies may be present against thyroid peroxidase, thyroglobulin and TSH receptors although a small percentage of patients may have none of these antibodies present. As indicated in various twin studies a percentage of the population may also have these antibodies without developing Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Nevertheless, antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity is a substantial factor behind the apoptotic fallout of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Activation of cytotoxic T lymphocytes in response to cell-mediated immune response affected by helper T lymphocytes is central to thyrocyte destruction. As is characteristic of type 4 hypersensitivities, recruitment of macrophages is another effect of the helper T lymphocyte activation, with Th1 axis lymphocytes producing inflammatory cytokines within thyroid tissue to further macrophage activation and migration into the thyroid gland for direct effect. 
gross morphological changes within the thyroid are seen in the general enlargement which is far more locally nodular and irregular than more diffuse patterns. While the capsule is intact and the gland itself is still distinct from surrounding tissue, microscopic examination can provide a more revealing indication of the level of damage. Histologically, the hypersensitivity is seen as diffuse parenchymal infiltration by lymphocytes, particularly plasma B cells, which can often be seen as secondary lymphoid follicles. Atrophy of the colloid bodies is lined by HA1 quarter or THLE cells, cells with intensely eosinophilic, granular cytoplasm, a metaplasia from the normal cuboidal cells that constitute the lining of the thyroid follicles. Severe thyroid atrophy presents often with denser fibrotic bands of collagen that remains within the confines of the thyroid capsule. Diagnosis Diagnosis is made by detecting elevated levels of antithyroid peroxidase antibodies in the serum. Given the relatively non-specific symptoms of initial hyperthyroidism, Hashimoto's thyroiditis is often misdiagnosed as depression, cyclothymia, PMS, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia and, less frequently, as ED or an anxiety disorder. On gross examination, there is often presentation of a hard goiter that is not painful to the touch. Other symptoms seen with hyperthyroidism, such as periorbital myxedema, depends on the current state of progression of the response, especially given the usually gradual development of clinically relevant hyperthyroidism. Testing for thyroid stimulating hormone, free T3, free T4, and the antithyroglobulin antibodies, Antithyroid peroxidase antibodies and antimicrosomal antibodies can help obtain an accurate diagnosis. Earlier assessment of the patient may present with elevated levels of thyroglobulin owing to the transient thyrotoxicosis as inflammation within the thyroid causes damage to the integrity of thyroid follicle storage of thyroglobulin. TSH is increased as the pituitary tries to compensate for decreased T4. This exposure of the body to substantial amounts of previously isolated thyroid enzymes is thought to contribute to the exacerbation of tolerance breakdown, giving rise to the more pronounced symptoms seen later in the disease. Lymphocytic infiltration of the thyrocyte-associated tissues often leads to the histologically significant finding of germinal center development within the thyroid gland. Hashimoto's when presenting as mania is known as Prasset's syndrome after Ashok Prasset the psychiatrist who first described it. Treatment, managing hormone levels, hyperthyroidism caused by Hashimoto's thyroiditis is treated with thyroid hormone replacement agents such as levothyroxine, tolethyronine or desiccated thyroid extract. A tablet taken once a day generally keeps the thyroid hormone levels normal. In most cases, the treatment needs to be taken for the rest of the patient's life. In the event that hyperthyroidism is caused by Hashimoto's thyroiditis, it is recommended that the TSH levels be kept under 3.0. Selenium, although the current clinical practice guidelines for hyperthyroidism in adults do not indicate selenium supplementation, a one-year study of 46 patients found supplementing 80 I one quarter G per day of selenium slowed several markers of disease progression. Another study comparing 100 I 1 quarter G and 200 I 1 quarter G doses of selenium combined with levothyroxine in 88 female patients over 9 months found that 200 I 1 quarter G was more effective. The 2013 systemic review found there is still not enough evidence to definitively support or refute the efficacy of selenium for Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and urges more clinical trials are needed before efficacy can be proven. As a dietary supplement, the FDA recommends at least 55 I 1 quarter G per day of selenium for adults with a tolerable upper intake level of 400 I 1 quarter G. Low level laser therapy. According to a study published in 2013, near infrared low level laser therapy has been shown to be effective in phase 2 clinical trials at improving thyroid function. Gluten free diet. Preliminary studies have suggested a correlation between Hashimoto's thyroiditis and celiac disease. While it has not been rigorously explored, there are anecdotal reports that a gluten-free diet may reduce the autoimmune response responsible for thyroid degeneration. A study published in January 2012 compared a group of confirmed celiac patients to a control group of healthy individuals, 
starting a gluten-free diet and continuing for one year. While there was a higher recurrence of thyroiditis found amongst the celiac group, there was no reduction in their level of anti-TPO antibody, improvement in thyroid function, or change in thyroid volume reduction after one year without gluten. The study mentions that its results disagree with other studies, such as a prospective study published in August 2000 with 90 celiac patients, which found that thyroid-related serum antibodies tended to reduce during a gluten-free diet. Prognosis, overt, symptomatic thyroid dysfunction is the most common complication, with about 5% of patients with subclinical hyperthyroidism and chronic autoimmune thyroiditis progressing to thyroid failure every year. Transient periods of thyrotoxicosis sometimes occur, and rarely the illness may progress to full hyperthyroid basto Graves disease with active orbitopathy. Rare cases of fibrous autoimmune thyroiditis present with severe dyspnea and dysphagia, resembling aggressive thyroid tumors, but such symptoms always improve with surgery or corticosteroid therapy. Primary thyroid B cell lymphoma affects fewer than 1 in a 1,000 patients, and it is more likely to affect those with long-standing autoimmune thyroiditis. Epidemiology this disorder is believed to be the most common cause of primary hyperthyroidism in North America. As a cause of non-endemic goiter, it is among the most common. An average of 1 to 1.5 in 1,000 people have this disease. It occurs between 8 and 15 times more often in women than in men. Though it may occur at any age, including in children, it is most often observed in women between 30 and 60 years of age. It is more common in regions of high iodine dietary intake, and among people who are genetically susceptible. History Also known as Hashimoto's disease, Hashimoto's thyroiditis is named after the Japanese physician Hikaru Hashimoto of the medical school at Kyushu University, who first described the symptoms of patients with struma lymphomatosa, an intense infiltration of lymphocytes within the thyroid, in 1912 in a German publication. The report gave new insight into a condition more commonly seen in areas of iodine deficiency that was occurring in the developed world, and without evident causation by dietary deficiency. See also, thyroid gland, thyroid lymphoma, myxtomatous psychosis, autoimmune thyroiditis, references. External links, autoimmune thyroid disease for details about autoimmune thyroid disease, Hashimoto's disease at the Mayo Clinic. Sasaki, N. Takahashi, A. Nakano, N. Saito, T. A case of hallucination of soliloquy with hyperthyroidism induced Hashimoto disease. Meaning of psychopathological research about symptomatic psychosis. Sis Hinshinki Agako Zashi 103, 185 Euro 96. PMIDA 11326441A, Hall, Richard C. W. Popkin, Michael K. Duval, Richard. Hall, Anne K. Gardner, Earl R. Beresford, Thomas P. Psychiatric Manifestations of Hashimoto's Thyroiditis. Psychosomatics 23, 337A42 doi. 10.1016 per second 0033-3182, 82, 73397-3. PMIDA 6896238A.